Hello, this is Janice Jones with Made For You Cards. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how to make this um, Love Life card. This is a promotional card that Stampin' Up! did with the Summer Smooches pack that they just came out with as a sneak peek for the June 1st new catalog. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the white piece and go ahead and use our stencil to um, <clears throat> put all the green Lucky Limeade uh, ink and we're just going to use a sponge and you're going to sponge um, all the different flowers in the stencil until you get the entire front of that white piece covered with your flowers. <clears throat> I really like the stencil. Um, it is a great little pattern and I like the way that they added the flowers on top of it to give it some more dimension on the card. But it doesn't take very long if you just take a sponge and go through and just sponge it. Um, or even some sponge daubers if you'd rather use those instead of a sponge. I usually end up using just a regular sponge and getting my ink on that way. And so once you get it to the darkness that you would like to have, <clears throat> this is what you'll end up with. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a stamp from the stamp set, which is also a sneak peek um, just for the month of April, Bright Blossoms, and we're going to stamp the, um, <coughs> the flower in Rich Razzleberry and in Real Red. And so, just in a random pattern, we're going to do some rich razzleberry flowers on here, um, just so we get a few on. And then I'm going to clean off my flower, get the rich razzleberry off, and go to my real red pad and add some real red flowers on the card, too. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some um, scrap pieces of Rich Razzleberry and Real Red and take our Boho Blossoms punch and just punch out um, a couple of different flowers to add as embellishments. I think I'm going to do two red ones and then one Rich Razzleberry. And when you're using these three pl flower punches you can just stick it in and only get one um, flower at a time if that's what you know what you need okay so once we have our flowers <clears throat> we're ready to um, add our border piece now this piece I want to show you how we get this piece um, this piece is from the tasteful trim um, die and we just run it through the big shot and I have my big shot here and I just want to show you the, this is an extra long die, and I've already got my piece of paper in there. Um, and on the Tasteful Trim die, you have <clears throat> several different trims that you can use, and I really enjoy using this die, especially with um, scrapbook pages, because you can use a whole 12-inch piece and go across. I don't know if you can see the different designs on the die or not, but there's one, two, three, four different designs, and you can even use the in-between pieces as um, trim pieces. So we're going to take our red scored card and then our white piece that we've decorated, and we're going to add the um, <clears throat> Rich Razzleberry trim piece underneath the white with just a little bit of um, adhesive just so that we have the humps sticking out and then we're going to put some adhesive on the back of this to add it on the front of the card and then we're just going to put it on the card off one edge and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our three little flowers that we punched out just with um, some mini glue dots and I'm just going to 
put a glue dot on the back of each little flower and attach them to the card. And if you want to have a little bit more dimension with them, you can take your fingers after you've attached them and just pull up the outside petals a little bit so that they're kind of sticking up. And then the next thing I'm going to do to them is put a little pearl in the middle of each flower. And these um, are just the basic pearl jewels and they're already sticky on the back so you can just put them right in the middle of your flower there pretty easily. I like the ones that are sticky. Can't, that one does not want to be used apparently. So I'm going to chase it around the thing. There we go. And then the last thing we're going to do to decorate this card is we're going to take just a scrap piece of white and in Rich Razzleberry we're going to use the Love Life <clears throat> phrase from You're a Gem stamp set. And this stamp set is being retired this month, so May 31st will be the last date you can order that. And so we're going to use some Rich Razzleberry and just stamp that on. And then we're going to use our large tag punch. And the large tag punch is also being retired, so if you like the um, punch or that stamp set, you need to get it while you can. And then to make our tag, I'm going to put just a little, um, use my paper piercer and make a little hole in the top of the tag so that I can run some <clears throat> just linen thread through it and tie it onto my bow. And what I, the way I did this is just to add a little bit extra to it. Um, and on tying a bow, I get a lot of questions on how to tie a bow. I leave it on the roll of ribbon and I do my first loop and then come around that loop and bring it through the back and then just kind of play with it until you get it the size you want it to be. And then I trim it off and that way you're not losing any ribbon by trying to guess what size you want it to be. Um, before you cut it off the roll. And then I'm also going to use a glue dot to attach this on the um, card. The first thing I'm going to do before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put this on it da -da, and tie it so that it'll stay on my um, on my ribbon. And I'm just tying it in a knot just to uh, and I put my knot on, my, on that in the back so that you can't see it. And then I'm going to get a glue dot and put it where it touches the ribbon and the linen thread. And then that'll hold the entire thing on the card once I get it on here. And you just add that to the top. And then the last little thing I'm going to do to it just to hold it in place is take a dimensional and put it right on the back of the tag because I don't want my tag flopping around. And that's that. And because it's red on the inside and I like to write on the inside of my cards, I cut a just whisper white piece that is four by five and a quarter just to fit inside the back. And then I can write my little note or whatever I would like to have. And that is how you make your Love Life card. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next time. Thanks.